Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Cool21 LEGO User. Um, this is the start of a new series um, about how I'll show all my computers and all my technology. Um, today we will be looking at the Dell Precision M6600 mobile workstation. Um, I turned this old laptop which is from 2009 with a Core i7B Pro processor and Windows 7 Pro 64-bit and I turned it into a gaming laptop. First we have a trackpad with a dual mouse right and left button with a central button. Um, on the left side of the laptop the ports we have are a ECSC port, um, a standard optical disk drive that's meant for laptops, and a SD card port. Um, you have the power light and the battery light. Um, headphone jack, audio jack, microphone jack, um, firewire. Um, two USB 3.0, no, two USB 2.0, so charge portable, and then the lock. Um, on, the, on the right side, you have Wi Fi switch, um, the hard drive expansion bay two USB 3.0s and a display port. In the back of the laptop you have heat sinks or air vents where the heat goes out, um, Ethernet port, VGA, HDMI, eSATA slash USB 2.0 and then more um, exhaust ports and then your power port for the charger. Um, and all this laptop is pretty good. It's really big, so I wouldn't suggest it as a regular laptop to take around your backpack. Um, the screen is 17.3 inches, which is I think is pretty large. And then, yep, the Intel Core i7 quad core, 2.4 gigahertz. The keyboard is backlit with several variations of white color. Um, one of the keys is missing, the arrow key, but it's really not that bad. You also have a little mouse pad in the middle, and a number pad too. Um, on, underneath, you can obviously see that there's no battery. The battery failed, and I did not, at the time, want to buy a new battery, so I just keep it plugged in all the time. So it's basically a tower desktop slash battery, um, tower desktop slash laptop. Um, you also have a expansion port where you can add on, I think probably more batteries or like more like expansion bays with more USB ports and display ports and all that. And now I will show you what's beneath this cover and how I upgraded the entire system to meet my needs and for the needs of any gamer. So Dell's pretty sneaky, they put the product key tag underneath the battery so you can't really see it. Um, here's the first extra expansion bay for the hard drive. You can have two hard drives in here at the same time. Um, here's the um, optical disk drive, um, the left side fan, and then for this laptop to make it faster I put in a Samsung SSD PM871 MSATA 512GB SSD. It's really quick and has a lot of storage. The expansion bay port. Um, I'm not really sure what this port does. It's the WWAN. I've never really seen one of those before. I guess maybe it's for the Wi Fi. Um, you also got a Wi Fi card and then the DMC. And then I put in four, 8 gigabytes of RAM. So there's some there's two other hidden sticks somewhere in the laptop, which gives me an additional eight, so I get sixteen gigabytes in all. Here's the original expansion bay for the original hard drive. And then here's the right side fan. That's basically what's the on the inside, that's what's upgradable. And I think I think the inside of this laptop is pretty decent. So now I will be showing you some tests and the amount of time it takes for the system to boot up. It's pretty quick, maybe around 20 seconds, but 
you'll be shocked by the results of this 10 year old laptop it's pretty quick so you can see it's it doesn't take that long for Windows to boot up which I think is incredible but that's because I put in the SSD which was a very hard find but I somehow got it got it for free from a business that donated old parts so let me just quick pull up the benchmark um, so yeah it's basically Windows 10 Windows 10 2018 Pro 64-bit um, so it's I don't have to worry about Windows 7 being like on support or anything Yep, so now let's get into some benchmarks and see how strong this laptop really is. Alright, so I got the Cinebench Mark R15 set up. It's unsupported now, but I still have it on my test hard drive slash USB drive. So, yep, Cinebench Windows 64 bit, and we'll use that to see what power this laptop wields. So first we will do the graphics test. As you can see Intel Core i7 2860QM CPU 4 cores 8 threads 2.5 gigahertz and this is the graphics so I'm hoping that it works. So some laptops just can't handle it, or the um, how this um, the car race is displayed. It's very laggy. Oh, okay, okay, looking pretty smooth. Let's see how this goes. Um, right now I'm going to mention. If you please would subscribe and subscribe to my channel, um, it'd be very helpful for me because I'm um, momentarily waiting on YouTube for the approval into the monetization program because I've passed 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 views yearly, and I'm hoping they'll accept it soon. All right, how many frames per second? 34.52 that's not bad I'm pretty sure I'll be able to play a lot of modern games some old some new and now we'll test the CPU so see um, four cores eight threads so it's not not too bad I mean there's obviously newer laptops out there that's gonna be faster but considering that this laptop is over 10 years old this is pretty amazing but Dell usually usually manufactures like some of those tank laptops that's what I, that's what I think Dell's like known for like when I think of Dell I'm thinking hardcore laptops that have good quality I mean not everything not every not every Dell laptop is going to like be amazing like there's some with Intel Celeron which really stinks because they only have two cores which nobody nobody uses two cores anymore I mean you might but like your, your laptops like Windows XP <laughs> Yeah, comment down below what you th think about Windows 7 becoming unsupported after like 10 years. I bet there's going to be so many people still using it, even though it's unsupported. I bet the hackers are going to be like, oh yes, tons of information I can steal. But I, I think Windows 10 is really good too. It's really like professional and smooth. Alright, we get 523 points. That's pretty good. It's not like a thousand, but it's that's. I think you should be able to play some pretty good games with this laptop. So yep, um, this is a Dell Precision M6600 17.3 inch mobile workstation with Intel Core i7 2760QM 2.4 gigahertz quad core processor, 8 gigabytes of RAM, but I put 16 gigabytes in, um, 500 gigabyte hard drive. NVIDIA Quadro 3000M and Windows 7 Professional 64-bit but I upgraded this to like Windows 10 um, one 500GB hard drive and a 500GB SSD thanks for watching and have a good day